Hey everybody, it's Darcy the Bad Artist from London, Ontario. Hope you're having a great day. This is a, a really neat video, I think, for two reasons. Uh, one, you won't have to see my face, so that's always good news. And um, secondly, a lot of really dumb but interesting trivia on this fish I'm painting today. It is actually a clownfish. You're probably uh, familiar with it from the uh, movie from, I believe it was Pixar, called Finding Nemo. Now this fish can come in a couple different colors. There's 30 different species of clownfish, but this is pretty unique. It's got a um, basically a lace-like or lightning sort of feature throughout its um, skin where um, just white streaks come up and they sort of form a pattern that looks similar to uh, lightning strokes, all sort of interconnected. Um, and I did that here with the help of frisket. I put the frisket or masking fluid, it's also called down, and then you just paint over it. And at the very end, you peel the frisket off to reveal what was underneath, which is, in this case, just the white paper. Um, something about these clownfish, and talk about interesting, um, you can buy them, a male and a female. They're like two inches long, maybe even smaller. Uh, right now, at the timing of this video, you can get them for three thousand dollars for a pair. <laughs> so, if you've got an extra three grand sitting around, you can go buy yourself a pair of these guys. Um, but the other neat thing is, they they have a symbiotic, mutualistic relationship. It's called with a sea anemone, um, and in this relationship, the clownfish feeds on um, small inverte invertebrates that would otherwise have potential to harm the sea anemone. But then the fecal matter, or poop, from the clownfish actually feeds the sea anemone. So they kind of like each other that way. Um, the clownfish is additionally protected from the predators by the anemone stinging cells to which the clownfish is immune. And again, talk about dumb trivia. Apparently in research they've sort of said that um, these clownfish have a sugary sort of a gel on their body. Um, and so the sea and the enemy are like, well, yeah, yeah, we kind of like the sugary taste. So we'll keep them there as opposed to a, I don't know, whatever other salty taste that other fish might have because they tend to sting those. So they like the sugary coating of these clownfish. But um, overall, this is a pretty neat video. Um, or sorry, painting that I like doing. Um, you'll notice I had to, in order to do the scales on this fish, um, learned a little bit on this painting because um, again I generally suck hence my name the bad artist but so because it was mostly orange um, and these fish also come in maroons dark purples and blues but um, I had to paint the scales on in just darker orange colors so they uh, it's almost like a freckling uh, for the fish but otherwise it was pretty cool um, it also says about these uh, these clownfish that they they emit a high-pitched sound that deters butterfly fish which would otherwise eat the sea anemone. So um, they've got a pretty good relationship going there, kind of like uh, Bonnie and Clyde, I guess, or some other Fred and Ethel. What's that? Oh, I'm dating myself now. That's from I Love Lucy from the 60s and 70s. Anyway, um, so at the very end of this process, uh, in order to make the lightning strokes or the lace um, features on this fish stick out, um, you basically have to take the frisket off. It's not a big difference from what you're seeing now. It's just very, very clean underneath um, and, and part of the process. So other than that, um, I hope you're having a great day. Um, working on a piranha right now hopefully that'll be next but um, I've already messed it up once and I'm starting it a second time right now and actually the uh, the start of the first piranha is actually on the back of this painting of the clownfish so but there's the final uh, it's looking kind of neat I really had fun doing this uh, hope you liked it as well please subscribe and if you're looking for another video of me using frisket I did it on the video link that you can see there for the uh, pearl bass fish uh, that I did earlier. So you have a great day and uh, yeah, take care.